the first met today's guest, Blasey Bay, back in episode 45, when he talked about his very non-conventional career path, going from music to comedy to the occult. And he graced us with a poem. And today, he's here once again to show us, to delight us with his wisdom and what he's into now that I'm sure is going to impart some new experiences for us and actual learning mm -hmm. that we're just not expecting. Before I get started, I have a favor to ask. I enjoy bringing the podcast to you every week and it besides the work it takes it also actually costs something to put it on so what i've done is started a patreon account and i have two different levels one where i'm going to read your name if you're a contributor and the other one i'm going to invite you to a let's talk live episode and the link to support us is patreon.com forward slash A-L-I-T-L-C, and that will be in the show notes. Uh, I welcome you back. You're one of my favorite. <laughs> I, I just love being with you. I never yeah, know you. exactly what you're going to say, but I always learn something, and I get to enjoy it along the way. It's a pleasure to be back. Uh, I'm excited. So would you share three things with us that most people don't know about you? Sure. Um, <laughs> one of them, I would say, is I'm a big wrestling fan, <laughs> uh, which is funny because, you know, you hear a lot of people, oh, wrestling is fake. Oh, that stuff is, oh, that is for kids, right? And that's exactly why I still watch it because I feel like a kid when I when 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 I'm tuned in. It was something that I would watch when I was uh, I think I started watching wrestling when I was eight. Uh, I would watch with my brother. We would, you know, Saturday mornings we we'll eating cereal. We turn on wrestling, wrestling in our underwear, jumping off of the <laughs> jumping off the couch. You know, it was some good times. So it was it was something that always connected me to my inner child. And as I'm doing inner child healing or healing things uh, of the past so I could be a better version of myself, I keep wrestling. Uh, I keep that tradition as when I was a kid. It um, helps me to stay creative. It helps me to uh, remember things from my childhood. Uh, things that I might've forgotten, you know? Oh, uh, it also taught me a lot about psychology as well. Cause I mean, when you think about it, wrestling is no different than watching something on TV or going to the movies, you know, Black Panther, Black Panther 2 just came out, uh, Wakanda forever. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's like people, they want to enjoy it. They know that the movie's not real. They know that these characters aren't real. But they, st you still want to enjoy it. You, you want to, want to go for the ride, you know. And that's how it is. And with, with wrestling fans, we just we going, you know, we <laughs> going for the ride, the ride of it. And there's a lot that you, there's a lot to learn. I was learning how to, to, the big, a big thing with wrestling is like with a lot of the characters. You say like Hulk Hogan. Uh, or someone, and they all have these catchphrases, or they have a way of talking to the camera. Like they had to practice that in the mirror. You know, if you hear them talk talk to a lot of them, they tell you they practice a lot of those uh, sayings in the mirror, and they had to, uh, you know, talk to themselves over and over and over. Because if if they didn't believe mm -hmm. what it was they were doing, the crowd wasn't gonna believe what it was they were doing. So it was something that where I was learning, like, oh man. It's very important is to speak over yourself and you know to to um practice who it is that you want to be. So that's why I'm especially now looking at it, that's what I'm doing. I'm using uh <laughs> what I learned in wrestling to go in the mirror and you know 
man, we're going to have a good day today. You, you want to know what? We, we good today. Like you, you have to tell yourself these things. Um, if you want, if you want to believe it, if you want others to believe you or who you are. So wrestling was, that's, that's one of my favorite things that helps me with that. Um, I'm going to jump, just jump on into it. Uh, since I'm talking about wrestling, uh, like my childhood and inner child healing, the Akasha, working with the Akashic Records, that's something, that's one of my favorite things to do, uh, something that I'm passionate about. And when you hear that, like, you, there's a lot of videos, there's a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of books, you know, all oh, the Akashic Records is, is a library and it has all of life's experiences and this, which is, you know, is there, there's some truth to it, but you know, it's a lot deeper than that. Uh, the Sanskrit meaning of Akasha is space or a primal substance. And that's where I started connecting to it because everything has a primal, ev everything, every thought, every, every word, everything there, it, came from something else. So I always wanted to tap into that, whatever whatever the origin, that primal substance was to understand why I do what I do. Not just, will I be like, oh, uh, I wanna know if I'm gonna be a millionaire in the next 10 years, or, you know, something like, no, I wanna know why I do what I do. Where did that start? Where did, Cam uh, name Blase, but real name Cameron, where did Cameron really start with these issues? Um, I just wanted to get back to, I, I just wanted to know so I can change myself. Uh, I told you earlier when, when I started working with the Akasha, a big thing I wanted to know was jealousy. Why was I so jealous? Like I, I, I'll admit it, that was one of, that's been one of my biggest struggles, jealousy. Something that I've always been working through. But as I started working with the Akasha, uh, with the Akasha, I remember being taken back to when I was two years old. Two, <laughs> you know, uh, at this time, my brother and sister were just born. And as a two year old, you're not going to understand that, you know, you're not going to know like what's really going on. All I knew is I was getting attention from my family. And then when these kids came home, that tension was, I, I didn't have that attention. And it was something that always, that, that I just brought with me throughout my, as I developed, you know, and it was like, oh, so a lot of those, a lot of that had to do with that time. So working with the Akasha, it helped me to go back to that child, that two-year-old me and build that relationship with him and give him what he needs you know, so I can release that, you know, so I can be, so I, I don't get affected by the same old things anymore. And it's really helped. I wasn't able to do that until I started doing this Akashic work. So uh, it was just something that became very passionate. It's, it's, it's a passion of mine now. And it's been helping me a lot. It helps me to write music. <laughs> It helps me to, if I'm right, like we were talking about the, the comedy with the jokes. And it just helps me to understand people, you know, like like us having this conversation. And I was working with the Akasha so much, it got to a point where when I was talking to people, I was hearing more than their words. I was getting a glimpse of their childhood or a glimpse of where a lot, like even like the tone or the frequency, I was getting a glimpse of their intention even if they like, it, it, I don't want to get too deep into it, but the more I started to do, in the, do that work, the more I could pick up on the primal substance of like, like I said, conversation, um, shoot books, TV shows, movies, anything you, you just, it just becomes a part of you. So that's why it became a passion to me because I just, I'm able to see beyond the, see beyond the scene, you know, um, so yeah, I ain't mean to go on a tangent, but yeah, <laughs> working with the Akasha, that's something that I do. And that's something I'm very passionate about. Uh, another, uh, interesting fact is I'm very clairaudient. 
And uh, if you haven't heard that word, anybody listening, Claire audience, they they also call it sidekick hearing, but I don't like to really call it that because it, you know, it it's something that we all have. When people are like, oh, I want psychic abilities and this and that. We all have these different things. Um, when I heard about it, I didn't. I was just glad to know that there was a word for that. Cause I remember my ears would ring when I was a kid or since I was a kid, I would hear like, man, it can be a blessing and a curse. Like I said, like when I'm talking to, dealing with working with the Akashic records, if I'm talking with some, uh, somebody like they can, they could be telling me, I love you, but I'm hearing like, screw you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, or it, it'll, you, I, I just start picking up on different things where, you know, you just, it's its a blessing and a curse. I, I just put it that way. And there are many people out there that have that. And if you, you are one, it doesn't mean you're crazy. You know, uh, if you, uh, er, just because you might hear voices, a lot of people who have that gift do that. And it, it doesn't mean that you, like I said, you're not crazy. Uh, but if what you're hearing is telling you to do something or motivating you to do something bad or to cause harm to somebody or, you know, something that you can't come back from. That's a different story, you know? Um, but yeah, I just, I just been able to, to, to tune in to things that aren't there. Um, we, you said it earlier, you, you heard music, like you could hear music, and you thinking that it's out loud, like, can y'all, you know, <laughs> but it's really, it's, just, it's, it's beyond normal hearing. And man, that's, that's how it is for me. Um, what was that? Uh, oh, when I was a kid, <laughs> it would get so wild where if I get stuck in a store or lost in a store and I couldn't find my mom, I would always listen for her key jingle. That was so in, like I get in tune to different things. I would know by her key jingle. Oh, she's over there. So I ain't gotta, oh, she ain't leave me. Huh? She's over there somewhere. So um yeah. <laughs> I can tune in to different things. It's it's weird. I'm still as I uh as I'm growing, I'm learning how to um I'm learning how to control it, I guess, and not let it drive me crazy. Cause like, if you, when I go to sleep sometimes, that's when it's the most loud. When I hear ringing, different frequencies, and I had to learn how to, you know, calm it down. Cause if you don't know what's going on, you like, you gonna think you're going crazy. You gonna think, ah. Uh. But as I started developing, uh, you know, how to how to control it, how to keep saying it's 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 better now. There's nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> but it's just it's one of those things <laughs> that's interesting because I've played music in my head all my life since I was a little kid I, I never thought I was crazy Yeah. but I was 16 before I learned that not everybody walks around playing music in their head all the yeah. time <laughs> you <Yeah. know? laughs> I, I'm listening to you and this may not make sense to you at all, but I've never heard anybody talk about the Akashic record the way you do. And when you put the clear audience with it, I just can't help wondering if there's going to be a possible career for you blending those gifts. Because like I said, I've never heard anybody mention the things that you have. So... I guess I'll just throw that out there because the universe yeah. put it in my mind. Wow, you that um that was something that I thought about uh a couple of years ago. Uh no, five years ago when I first started getting into it. I was like, dang, maybe there there has to be a way for me to like make this into a career or something. But I was just getting into it and I learned that. It, for right now, it's just meant for me to learn. 
you know, like for me to understand was because sometimes like we'll, we'll, we'll have something like, oh, I could do this and I can make money with it and that. And, you know, I, for me, I was having too much of an agenda with it at first. So, I mean, I, like I was still learning, but when you have an agenda, when you, when you start to open up with those, those gifts or, um, or those, those talents, uh, if you, if you have an agenda with it, it'll all, it'll almost like constrict your learning or constrict you from going further because it's not really genuine. It's like, you're not just learning it just to learn it. You're learning it because you want to make some money or you want to try to impress somebody. So, you know, yeah, I thought about that a couple of years ago, but, um, now I do want to start going into it a little deeper and um, seeing where I can go, you know, connecting with other uh, other folks that that deal with the records or deal with the Akasha and actually uh, really do something with it now. I like because I, I it's, it's, it's a big part of who I am. It's, it's, it's bigger than what people think it is. You know, it's something that connect us. It connects us all together. It's a prime is like I said, it's the primary substance or the primary source. Many people may see that source as God. Matter of fact, they another word for the Akashic records is the mind of God. Or uh the Bible, even the Bible, they call it the uh the book of life. You know, so there's all of these different meanings for the, but we're talking about the same thing. So I'm gonna have to I'm I wanna learn, I wanna learn more with people that have been doing it longer than i have and you know meet up and do different things you know so that's definitely something i'm looking i'm i'm, I'm looking into <laughs> and i i know when you come from your heart then you're connecting with the knowing mm -hmm. of the universe i mean if you're coming from up here and this is something i have to catch myself doing because that doesn't connect and you're not gonna have success yeah. if you're working out of your head and your mind. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's, um, there's a there's a book I would recommend, which is man, this has helped me so much with the Akashic Records, and I believe it's uh, Access in the Akashic Records by Linda Howe. I mm -hmm. believe that's the name. I I I I've read it so much, but uh. I always oh I got it right here. Yeah, hey, how to read the Akashic records, accessing the archive of the soul and its journey. I would recommend like if anybody's starting off, if you want to just know more or how to even work in your own Akashic records, I would recommend like this book has been my Bible over the last five years. Uh, if there was man this. Of all the books that I've been reading, this is the one book that I go back to. It's it's been such a help. It'll it'll um, you know, it, it it'll really open you up. It'll have it'll show you how to how to tune in yourself. You don't need to be a psychic or you don't have to go get a reading. You, we we all have these abilities ourselves, and it's just a, a helpful guide that'll get you started with that. I it, it, there was a point where I would keep this book under my under my pillow. That's how <laughs> how much of a help this book has been, and how Linda. I is do alive. that too. <laughs> I have a Deepak Chopra book. I keep it under uh -huh. my pillow. <laughs> yeah, that helps. It helps. Well, I'm sure it does. <laughs> That's cool. I raised my kids telling them, if you have a test tomorrow, put all your study notes under your pillows. Mm, and I wish I did that when I was when I when I was in school. When I was in high school, like that, I would have did a lot better. But yeah. <laughs> I haven't really been doing comedy lately. Um I do have like a I have a show that I'll be doing that I'll be doing soon. But I just sometimes when I'm it's not one of those things that I've just been constantly, 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 constantly doing. Like when I was doing the podcast and when I was working on the uh, the EP uh, for the Left Hand Perspective, I kind of put music or uh, comedy on hold so I could focus on that. So it's still something that I'm doing. I haven't given it up. I'm not. I'm not quitting. I just haven't. Um, I just haven't been doing a lot of shows, but comedy. It is it's it's a part of who I am. It's 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 just like 
it's, it's like one of my fingers. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's connected. No matter whether if I'm on stage, whether I'm talking to you or anybody, that's just a part of who I am. So it's always going to be in the picture in some way, shape, or form. <laughs> Interesting how the universe puts <laughs> different things in our path, and it might look like they're not meant to go together, but sometimes the universe shows us how it does all go together. Oh, man, this is amazing how the things come together. So even when I was thinking about you know, even what, what's an interesting fact about me? Like, that was one of the things I was like, man, should I talk about that? I don't want to sound weird, but it's it's unique. And yeah, like, especially me being left, like I said, I'm a lefty. I got a left hand perspective of <laughs> the Akashic Records. So I'm a, I, I'm always into hearing people's experiences and you know, how how they see the Akashic Records and their culture and, you know, their take on it. So I wanted to give my little take on it and how I work with it. <laughs> listening to you and the fact that you're left-handed. So the left side of the body is the yin and the right side's the yang. The yin mm -hmm. being the feminine and the right side's the yang. And that's just, you're a very interesting combination of of everything oh thank you <laughs> thank you so what's your favorite way to spend time when you aren't obligated to do something else um well now what i've been doing uh when i don't have anything to do i just i just got in the back into watching like Netflix shows or TV shows. I, I didn't really I think over the last couple of years, I wasn't really in, unless I was watching shows with friends, I wasn't watching, I wasn't watching TV like that, but I just got back into it and I've been binge watching shows <laughs> and I didn't realize how relaxing it was. I, I wasn't giving myself, I wasn't relaxing the way I was supposed to, like when I, if I'm not working or it's like, my mind is always at, at work. Even when I'm not doing anything, my mind was still working. And I've just recently let myself chill and just, you know, be. So now I have to uh, uh, let myself be. So that's one of the things I do when I ain't, when I'm not doing nothing, relaxing, I got a show that I'm watching on Netflix and I feel like a kid again watching it. Wow. And that's when I knew it was, that's when I knew I needed to do it. I needed that when, when I was a kid, okay. but I would watch a show like, uh, you remember sister, sister. Yeah. With the, yeah. I, I would watch a show like that. And then when the show goes off in my mind, let's say I'll go play or something, but in my mind, I'm inside the show continually, continuing the the show, doing things with the characters and this and that. I find myself doing that again now. Cool. So like, that's when I knew, okay, I was supposed to just chill and just watch this show. Cause now when that show goes off, I go somewhere, I'm making up my own story in my head and going on and doing it, even if I'm just sitting there, you know? And I needed that. That means that because that, that means that that's my inner child because that was something that I did when I was a kid. That's my inner child telling me, hey, welcome back to this world. <laughs> you know, that's really interesting. I, I never I, I think too much making yeah. that happen, but I've never done that. Yes. It, it, I, I, it wasn't nothing that I was trying to do either. It just like. When 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 those things happen and you're not, it just out like out the blue, you just find yourself doing it. That's when you know you're on something special. So I knew I needed that because my I wasn't allowing myself uh, time to relax. You said you always thinking. I was thinking too much, yeah. and it were it was I wasn't allowing myself to just sit back and chill. And when I was able to do that, my inner child came out to play and doing this with my. Uh, this creative thing started happening in my mind again. So, oh, snap, I'm back online now. 
<laughs> That's cool. Thank, thank you for sharing all that because I. You're welcome. I, I watch things like Columbo. It, mm -hmm. There were movies like that back in the, I don't even know what era it was. <laughs> and I'm like, I get annoyed because everything's too obvious. <laughs> mm -hmm. so I don't enjoy it the way you were just describing it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, cool. yeah i'm getting back my uh i'm getting back to the little me now and <laughs> the healing is taking over <laughs> yeah i need that i didn't get to be a little kid i had a different kind of childhood mm -hmm. so, yeah that's yeah <laughs> i can do that <laughs> telling myself i can do that <laughs> yeah oh it'll happen yeah it'll happen naturally I, I really was just trying to watch a show uh i was working on uh, that's another thing i'm i got into script writing uh, screenwriting so wow. that was what really triggered me to sit down and watch a show and when i was watching it, i realized oh this is the time for me to relax and as i yeah as that happened my mind started getting creative and giving me things to work with that I can write down. So, yes, <laughs> like this is this is. I hear you, little. Uh, I hear you, little blase, little Cam. All right, <laughs> that's cool. I, I've never asked you where your professional or the name that you use now is. That just the one you always go by now. Hmm. Mu I, I haven't changed it. Like when I do music or when I do comedy, I, I still go by Cameron. <laughs> but music I, I is blasé. But I, I think I might, I'm contemplating it, having that be my, because that's what they call, like where I be going, especially with people, they heard me from the podcast, uh, uh, performing music, like they they all call me that anyway. So I mean, it might be more than just the music now. <laughs> so where did it come from? I never knew anybody with a name like that. My, fr I had a friend. No, I have a friend. Shout out to Portia. Uh, she calls me Blase because I, just, I didn't react to things the way that she wants. Or I don't react to things sometimes that the way people want me to and it's not purposely it's just it's been something since i was a little kid um just like if if somebody's talking to me you know sometimes i'm like hmm okay <laughs> or or they'll they'll expect a different reaction and it's not you know some people they they won't like let's say if you're telling them something good or something they won't react purposely because they feel some type of way but it's not that with me i'm just some things I just don't react to and I couldn't explain it. And I would feel bad for it too. I would even ask like, like, dang, what's, what's going on? Like, why, why am I like that? You know, but that's where the name came from. She, and she's like, well, you should just go by blase, you know? And when I started to look into the, what the word meant blase, I was like, Oh, I guess there's me, but the 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 definition of blase is more of an assumption. Like if you look at the definition, it seems more of an assumption of a person that's quiet. Cause I had I, I had to even look I had to look it up myself. Cause they say it's like you um blase, like, you know, just whatever. Or you you're not really, you know, like it's like you've lived through all of this before, you know? Um but for me, I just see blase as quiet. Hmm. That's 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 what that that's what that meant to me. And when I uh, looked at the etymology of it, it came down to blase actually came down to mean instrument. I was like, well, that makes even more sense. Like, because the the root words, when you get to the etymology of words, regardless of what we call words or what the definitions that we give them the root of that word is always going to be the truth going back to the akasha so i was going back to i had to go back to the primal substance of that word and really it comes down to quiet instrument 
So when I started to see it that way, it's like, okay, that's something that I can take on for myself. Cause I do consider myself a, it, 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 <laughs> it's, it's so funny, a quiet instrument, you know? <laughs> so I, it, it made me feel some type of way with it. So it just stuck with me. So Blase, Blase Bay, that's, that's who I am. <laughs> Is there any message that you'd like to leave with everyone today? Mm -hmm. I will say that I know right now a lot of people pay attention to your mental health and pay attention to um, if something is not right or if, if, if you're noticing something that needs to be addressed, if you need to talk to someone. I, I've been talking to a lot of people, uh, even myself, like having to talk more about depression and uh just noticing things differently up there doesn't mean that you're crazy it don't mean that uh that 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 really that something is wrong but it's just something that needs to be addressed just pay attention to your mental health pay attention to this i know a lot of people are going through it right now i mean man it's i started to notice a pattern where it was just like, whether it be in the media, uh, in my personal life, at, you know, anywhere I'm seeing, there's there's something going on in, in the mental space collectively. And some people think that they're going crazy. Some people don't know what it is. You know, I don't want to sound cliche, but we are going, you're going through an awakening. You hear that so much, I don't even like to say it, but there is an awakening. Um, Things that were on the surface are now, or excuse me, things that were beneath the surface are now coming to the top. And the pandemic was a big, that was, man, my mental, I, I was like, well, I'll, I'll be all right. Cause I've lived through like a, I've, I've quarantined myself before I'll be all right. Oh no. Collectively, we went through a shift and some things are, have come up to the surface and you're going to start seeing that you you're seeing things that you never saw before. You may be seeing things that other people can't see. That that doesn't mean you're crazy. You, you you're you waking up. But as we're waking up together coll uh, collectively, just pay attention to your mental health, because that if, 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 if you don't have that in order, you're not going to know what's real and what's not, you know um just just really listen to the words that people are saying when you're having a conversation even for me sometimes i can get triggered or i don't, I, I try to not get easily offended and actually listen to the intention behind the word not just the words that a person says but just their intentions behind the words and what is really speaking you know so yeah, just 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 keep that balance. That's 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 what I'll say. <laughs> well, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for being you and sharing all this new stuff going on for you. I thank you for joining us here today for Let's Get Metaphysical, connecting heart and mind. And remember to enjoy every moment. That's capital I N, capital J O Y, because nothing happens outside. And everything happens within.